everybody. Good afternoon. Are you wet? How many people in the chat are wet right now? Come on. Just be honest. Even if you're a guy. Like, even if you're a guy right now, there's a part of you that's like, you know what? I can see where my body originally made me a female because I'm wet in the grundle area. You know, down below where the grundle is, get that little bit of wetness. Wetness growing out. What's up, Bison, Thomas? Star Scream, what's up? Um, I want to say thank you to everybody. We got some uh, stuff going on today. This is crazy shit going on in Baton Rouge, man. Two police officers, I think, or, or maybe more at this point. We'll show you some of that uh, in a few minutes. That's kind of horrible. Uh, then the good news, Ellen Itty or Ollie and Itty or whatever the hell her name is. We've been talking about her for like a year now or longer. Whatever it's been, Ellen Itty. I call her Nipple Face. Let's just call her Nipple Face. You guys call her Alan, Alan Itty or Alan Titty. I call her, let's actually Titty Face. How about Titty Face? Let's call her Titty Face. Titty Face was finally banned from uh, Twitch. It took forever. I mean, this, you know, multiple stupid things with her animals and cats. And by the way, like, I don't think that this girl should have been banned for anything. I don't think she's done anything really wrong. I think she was a little aggressive with her animals. That's a little bizarre. I mean, Alan Itty, if you want to call her Titty Face. Let's just call her Titty Face. Guys, come on. We're calling her Titty Face. We're going to call her Titty Face. Fuck it. So Titty Face, um, you know, Titty Face wasn't banned. You know, I didn't think she was banned either. But problem is everybody else gets banned for less and for the same thing. Other people have been perma-banned or suspended for weeks for less or the same thing. This chick was just allowed to do anything she wanted and never got in trouble for it. Now she's finally in trouble for it. And I mean, when you're on, you know, when you're on um, Twitch, there's a lot of girls that do this. You know, titty face is uh, mo mostly about rubbing her titties. I mean, Twitch is supposed to be about gaming, you know. But, you know, I don't, I don't care, I mean, to be honest, because... You know, I, 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 do, I do podcasts on there. So, I mean, that's not exactly Twitch uh, gaming all the time either, but the fact of the matter is, like, listen, dude, if you're going to start, ba if you're going to ban all these other people, you know, you got to ban her. She has to be banned. If everybody else is going to be banned, she has to be banned too. And now she finally is. Dude, you know, after she did, after she showed her tit, her titty slipped out the other day. Titty nipples. Her fucking titty nipples came out the other day. So her, her her stupid titty nipples came out the other day, and she and and she, they weren't gonna ban her. They still weren't banning her. And then I think she got freaked out, so she tried to ban herself. She was like, "I'm taking uh, three days off of Twitch to ban myself, uh, because Twitch wasn't banning her for anything or, or suspending her or nothing like that. Because they all are horny boys over at Twitch, and they want to jerk off to her. So." You know, they wanted to uh, jerk off the titty face, so they never really banned her. And they, they've banned guys. If a guy takes his shirt off and shows his nipples on a stream, um, they would ban that guy from Twitch. You know, and this chick, they wouldn't touch her. And, you know, we're shadow banned on uh, YouTube. You know? <clears throat> Especially here on um, Corrupted. Corrupted Nation is super banned. And I do want to give everybody the heads up that, that everybody listening to this right now, you really do want to make sure that you are following me on Shame on News. Because I am about to possibly make a decision um, to um, go to Shame on News because all those videos over there, believe it or not, are actually still showing up in sub in sub boxes and they're still doing really well and uh, things like that. So I may make the decision to go over back to Shame on News because Shame on News is still um is still visible in many ways. And when I upload it's still visible. So if you haven't subscribed to Shame on News, I would love to know. And I may may do a push for a week this week where I upload only on Shame on News and not Corrupted Nation, 
You know, I still have videos there that still pop up in feeds sometimes. You know, 17,000, 50,000, 22,000, 17,000, 16,000, six, you know, and then some of my smaller videos like these, um, you know, so I, I may switch over. And then there's the damage report that was ripped off by those uh, troll assholes. But uh, still, you know, even, you know, damage report got a lot of views before three years ago, before the damage report people ripped us off. Took the name and took the logo. Um, you know, Ed Sheeran. News on him. That did 11,000 on the damage report. So just kind of funny stuff that that went down. But here's my point. Like, before we go into the Baton Rouge uh, shooting stuff on uh, Alan Itty or, or Titty Nipples or whatever whatever the hell I said I was going to call her. Titty, what did I say I was going to call her? Titty Nipples? Nipple Face? We also are unable to get Super Chats or uh, commercials here on uh, Corrupted Nation because we are banned from that. So that's that's banned as well over here. But my point about this, if you want to be a girl who like rubs her tits together with whipped cream and like does all this weird shit where you're like rubbing yourself and all these things, here's my question. Why not just use Twitch then to talk to your viewers? Why not go on Twitch to grow an audience there and push them to your other site, right? Why not literally go on Twitch and be like, hey, guys, like, blah, blah, blah. Tonight's going to be a big night on the, um, you know, whatever the fuck else I'm doing. And why not just advertise your chatterbait or your OnlyFans or whatever and be like, I'm going to be hanging out all night like this talking to you guys. And then, like, on the chatterbait or on the OnlyFans or wherever you go live from, whatever it is, you can literally do exactly what you wanted to do on Twitch, except, like, way crazier, right? Like, when, when there's a donation, like, you can fucking rub your tits and stuff like that and, like, look into the camera and say the guy's name and do all kinds of weird shit that gives you money. I don't know. Like, uh, just just a thought, you know what I mean? Just a thought. Just a thought for a thought. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Um, But no, seriously, it's just a thought. Why not do it? Why not do it? So ridiculous. Uh, yeah, we're going to be live tonight with Sunday Night Gaming, though. So this will, this will not be a long stream here. I just came on here to chat for a few minutes. Didn't want to make a video and upload it that way. So um, just coming on for a few minutes to talk, see what you guys are thinking. Talk about um, the Alan Titty ban. Um, see if I would go, see if people would get the alert for this video. Which I guess most people, most people haven't. And then I will be live uh, probably around 8, 9, or 10 for games. I might be or I might be live early tonight. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Um, I, I don't think... I don't know about that. I'm not really sure. How do you find her Twitch? You can't find her Twitch. I just told you she got banned. <laughs> She, yeah, she got banned. Like, there's no... You can't find classic clips of her. That way, you can find them on YouTube, probably. Somebody's got them, right? Somebody's probably going to upload her classic clips, but I think she's banned. I don't think I don't think you can find her clips. She probably has a YouTube channel. Or maybe she's not banned. I don't know. Maybe I... Oh, no. Yeah, look at that. I went to go to her Twitch page, and... Uh, I mean, listen, I don't think anybody should be banned, to be honest. But it's just the fact that they... The only reason why people wanted to see her banned is because Twitch has banned everybody else for all kinds of other things that are like nothing. Like, they've banned people for the dumbest crap. And this chick just kept getting away with doing the same thing that everybody else did that got banned and never getting banned. That's why people wanted her banned, you know? Nobody wants anybody banned, really. You know? I mean, or nobody should. You know, unless someone's, like, pulling their, like, pecker out on Twitch or, you know. And, no, like, you, you pull your tit out by accident and you're like, oh, oh, my God. Like, and you cover it up and you're like, oh, my God. And you, like, end your stream immediately and delete the video. Yeah, I can see, like, obviously you made a mistake. Something happened. It was a mistake. In my opinion, Twitch should look at that and say, all right, listen, you got to be way more careful. So you have a three-day suspension for that. Or you have a seven-day suspension. Or, you know, give people a suspension. You know, you have a, a three strikes in your in your out rule, 
and every three months one of the strikes goes away. You know what I'm saying? So that allows people to figure things out. You know, um, if you accidentally show your dick or nipples like on the stream more than three times ever, I mean, yeah, probably ban, right? But nobody should be banned because they accidentally took their nipple out. Like a guy, there was a guy who took his shirt off, trying to take his one of his shirts off. Both his shirts came off, and then he was like, "Oh!" And he pulled the shirts apart, and then he put the one shirt back on. He got banned. And then this chick has shown her nipple and then wasn't getting banned. And so people just lost their goddamn minds about getting her banned, and now she's banned. But she wasn't going to be banned. They weren't going to ban her. They literally weren't going to ban her, just like they didn't ban her when she threw her cat up in the air or whatever. So it's ridiculous. Yeah, you can be edgier on TV now, nobody, Jones. That's a great point. Nobody, Jones, is dead right. Like, I don't understand it. Pennzoil Pete's in the chat. What's up, Pennzoil Pete? We haven't talked to Tommy in a long time. Um, It is ridiculous. I mean, people talk about... You know, YouTube is really bad. Uh, so, Jasup, sometimes I play Diablo 2. Um, Callum Keith, that's a pretty good idea what you said. I kind of wanted to do that anyway, so kind of. But yeah, the women were getting away with all kinds of bullshit. Very crazy what they were getting away with. Compared to the guys. Compared to the guys, it was crazy. Let me see here. Um... <clears throat> yeah, so Twitch Twitch Bander and you know the thing about it is like dude By the way, all all my donations are on except for you can't super chat, mad. Jason, you can't super chat, bro. I'm sorry. He's like, "Where's the super chat?" Super chats don't work right now because um this channel's demonetized. You can use uh Streamlabs down below as always, but you can't um there's no super chat on Corrupted Nation right now. I'm trying to get it back. Renegade Joe Compton. What's up, Renegade Joe Compton? How you doing, man? What up, Beds View? Uh, Joe, when you go one way too far, the woke scolds wind. It was the same way with the religious right. Now it's the woke religious left. Yeah, it's weird. It's it's funny how that happened. It used to be that the, that the right-wing pol politicians were the ones that would shut you down for being too... for having free speech. It's so weird. The right-wing religious people used to shut down free speech all the time. In the name of Jesus and their God. Um, but now, the left-wing crazy SJWs are the ones that shut down everything. And the left-wing crazy SJWs have given birth to the right-wing and independent moderate people like me, the middle group, who and, and left-wing, counter-groups who want to fight back against the extreme left because none of us on the regular left and the independents and the right-wing people um, want to be censored by crazy SJW psychos. So it kind of sucks and hurts to have to celebrate somebody like Alan Itty or, or Titty Face, as we call her. We're going to call her Titty Face because I don't know her. Good looking girl. Don't know her. I'm going to call her Titty Face because Alan Itty sounds like Titty, and that's what I see on all our streams are titties. So we're going to call her all the, uh, we're going to call her Titty Face. All right. So Titty Face is banned. Um, but yeah. So there you go. It really it's the same thing as religion. You know what I mean? Like crazy people who are super emotional about something like and if you don't believe in it, you're screwed. You know, it's it, and and somebody just said in the chat, you know, you can't avoid religion. Uh it's built in. It's true. The thing is, if you don't you can't avoid a certain religions, but then you're going to make up your own religion in your mind and that's what's going on. So you have people who don't or aren't Muslims, they're not Christians, they're not product, they're not any religion at all, right? These people have no religions. Most of the SJWs who are crazy psychopaths are atheists. So what's happened here is for some weird reason most of us or or most humans need this higher power to believe in or a major cause to believe in. 
And when you don't have a major cause to believe in, um, you really get lost. I don't know what that is, uh, you know, as far as you guys go and we all go in the world. But for some reason, we all need something to believe in or we go, apparently we create our own crazy religion. So a lot of atheists who don't believe in these religions and, and mo a lot of religious nut jobs um, want to tell you how to believe things, how to feel, want to control you about religion. You know, hell, we didn't have... Uh, stem cell research in the country for like f fucking eight years because George Bush uh, believed in uh, something about religion or something. I don't know. So atheist people, what they've done is they've, they've got nowhere to go and no God and no religion. So they've created their own control device, which is the SJW stuff. We must fight for this crazy thing or something. I must fight this injustice that like isn't really there. You know what I mean? So it used to be that, you know, religious people would, would uh, you know, fight against people's f speech. Like, oh, don't say words like that. That's against God or that's bad to say those words. And, oh, like that's what the right used to say. Now the le now these left-wing atheists say, say that because they're taking up this fight for no reason to, like, believe in something because they don't believe in anything else. So it's really weird that... um it's interesting. It seems like everybody needs some kind of cause to believe in. And if you don't have God, you'll make up a cause. And it's always bad. It's always some kind of bad thing. Like, remember straight edge people? Like, that was supposed to be a good thing, right? Hey, I don't drink, man. I don't drink. I'm straight edge. Everything's cool. But eventually what that turned into was, like, just people, like, gangs of people beating the shit out of, like, drink people at bars and people thinking that they're better than you because they don't they, because they don't drink or something like I'm way more pure than you because I don't drink or something like people creating these weird like falsehoods that I'm better than you these narcissistic vibes of um and, and you can, when you I used to talk to people like this and it's weird because I don't have tattoos and like I didn't really do a lot of I didn't do I didn't do a lot of drinking either at one point and I thought I would probably not even be a person that drank when I was younger, but I never thought about saying like, I'm better than you because I don't drink, you know? And I think it comes from like a lot of abusive uh, stuff, like people younger were abused or something. Because normal people that grow up with parents who, who, who teach them like, yeah, you know, be careful with drugs and alcohol. And then they go on to never try drugs and alcohol. They're just normal. They're just like, oh, I'm, I don't drink or whatever. And someone's like, oh, so you're straight edge. And then you're like, oh, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess I guess I, guess I am. I, I don't know. But then when you talk to certain straight, like really hardcore straight edge people, they're like, I'm straight edge. I'm straight edge. Ah! And they like scream it in your face. Like straight edge people are the SJWs before the SJWs happened. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like before there was a cause like SJW to fight all these, like just go fight causes because you're angry at anything. So you're trying to, so you try to find something that's a cause because it's, but it's probably a good cause to begin with. So all these causes were good to begin with, like equality and you know anti-racism and all these things. But then people grab onto them and they like hijack them and they go crazy with it. So like just like straight edge was a good thing at one point. Like oh you know I'm straight edge. I'm gonna be straight edge. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try to be clean and, and keep that stuff out of my body and stuff like that. Cool. But then it goes to another level where people go nuts and they they're like you're not straight edge because you're disgusting and you're what's wrong with the world i'm i'm clean man my kids are going to be clean i'm going to have i'm going to have clean kids who are raised normal and they're going to beat their kids or act crazy or poison their bodies like idiots like you do cuz you're a fucking idiot and you motherfucking idiot fuck and like they start flipping the fuck out and you're like watching this person like what the fuck is wrong with you dude are you like out of your fucking mind and um it's the same mentality to be like ah! Like they're just insane, and, and what it is is, it's it's like they had bad, they were like raised wrong or something, or they were like beaten as kids, or they had bad, you know, I, childhoods or something. So they're crazy, and they're looking for anything to lash out on, and they're like, oh, if I beat the shit out of some drunk guy at a bar, that's not really a big deal because that guy's a scumbag loser, um, and that's how it's weird, dude. This narcissistic reality, um, but many straight edge people are normal, and they're not like that. But it's the same thing in all religions, too, right? Like, in, in many religions, like in Christianity, like, there's a lot of people there that are poisonous and crazy. But then again, that's kind of in the book, isn't it? You know what I mean? Then there's people in the Muslim religion, religion and it's like a lot of Muslims are great, and there's no problem with them at all. But then there's little groups of Muslim uh, places and areas and people, and 
They'd like to kill uh, gay people and throw them off a fucking building and cut women's pussies off and make women wear fucking, like, fucking face masks over the whole face. But we're all going to be wearing face masks anyway, so uh, we're all going to be fucking wearing hijabs tomorrow. Um, so all religions do this. Like, they, like most people are normal. Like, mo- most Muslims are normal for the most part. Most Christians are normal for the most part. But the extreme, then these extreme areas of each one of those religions always builds up and they become, they, they poison the rest of the religion and make them look bad. Um, same thing with, like I said about straight edge, there's that group that rises up that becomes the we're better than you are vibe. And then that makes straight edge people look bad. And then there's SJWs now. That's the new thing. And it's like, yeah, originally that was a good idea. Like you're sticking up for these causes and doing these things, but then it goes to like ridiculous, insane lengths. And now we'll, we'll never get a normal star Wars movie again. Have you guys seen the, the chick that's going to be in charge of the new star Wars movie? Holy Christ. Is titty is uh is 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 titty face still banned? Oh man, titty face is still banned. Everybody, I'm sorry. I'm just checking right now to see. Yep, titty face is still banned. I can't believe it. I mean, listen again. I, I don't think anybody should be banned. I don't think she should be banned. But, you know, I I don't think that any of the other people should have been banned who are banned. But they're banned, so she has to be banned because it's only fair. But I, I really think that Twitch, what they should do is bring back almost half the people they banned who, who shouldn't have been banned. Bring back half these people that shouldn't have been banned. Then you can bring her back. Then everybody will be cool. Bring back the guy that was banned for fucking taking his shirt off and his second shirt came with it. And he, his, his nipples were out for a second while the guy put his shirt back on. Oh, my God. We've never seen guys with nipples before. Like, oh, my God. Guys don't walk around the beaches with their fucking nipples out, do they? Women don't walk around beaches with their fucking bikinis out. You know, who cares? But again, the problem is your hypocrisy on the Twitch hypocrisy is the problem. That's the problem is that, the, oh, what, one second it's okay. The next minute it's not okay. What is that? What else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Bubbly. Oh, bubbly. Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. <laughs> He'll flash my man boobs for money. Joe, you think I can make money off my body? You know what? I really think you could, to be honest. I think you go viral, to be honest. I don't know why more people don't do not do that. If I was you, Casey is Raw, I would, I'd would create a channel, Casey is Raw, if I was you. And I would call the channel, I'd call it, like, Man Boob Gaming. Casey, do you want to make a lot of money right now? I'll tell you right now. Man Boob Gaming. Call it Man Boob Gaming. And... Like, the picture of your profile is you doing this and being like, and you talk about games, but before you do, your introduction is, today we're going to be talking about Double Dragon 2, guys. It's one of my favorite games, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, let's get into it. But without further ado, it's booby time. And then you go, blah, 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 and every video you do that, and then you go into the game. Like, dude, you'll go viral. I swear to God, I just made you money right there. Dude, start doing that channel for like five weeks in a row. You're going to blow up. 828 is on the phone. Hello? Hey, what's up, Joe? How you doing tonight? Good. Is this Tommy? Yeah, it's Tommy. The fuck? Calling me from your cell phone? This is bizarre. <laughs> well, you were not. Uh, I checked your Skype, and you're offline. Then I checked your. Uh, oh, I checked the other thing, and uh, you weren't even on there. So. But this. Uh, is, but this is my. This here. is this is my Skype. You... Well, it, the green dot was not on your. I, I checked your. I checked your Skype, it, it, and the green dot was not on there. Oh, that's weird. It's on there for me. Like, wow. I'm I'm lo- I'm logged into Skype. I've been logged into Skype. But you, you're calling. Mm-hmm. This is Skype right now. You're on Skype right now with me. Um. But anyway, I, yeah. What's my, up, man? Not much, man. I was hearing what you're talking about. You know, and I have to say that yeah, a lot of people have different opinions and different thoughts. And it, the best thing to do is to take all those negative thoughts and just put in positive thoughts and to move forward. And I know there's different religions, and different, you know, opinions. But the thing is, the best thing is just to stay positive. You know what I'd say, Joe? And that doesn't make any sense to me, but I appreciate the uh, positive sentiment you're trying to put uh, portray here. Now, speaking of positive... there's no... Th- well, hmm? speaking of positivity, Tommy... Um, do you still want to beat up Leafy? Well, you know, um, 
I don't think I'd want to beat him up. You know, I think that I would want to sit down with Leafy and have a conversation with him. And if he started talking crap to me, I would put Leafy's head into the table. Honestly, Jesus. you know, I would have a fair conversation with him. But and Tommy, if Leafy started talking out of his ass. But Tommy, why do you want to beat up Leafy just for him talking bad or whatever? Like he just, well, you know, if to legitimately, if Leafy started looking at me and start, I mean, I wouldn't beat up Leafy just to beat up Leafy. If Leafy started throwing allegations at me and started uh, calling me names and like, especially my trigger word, if he started saying my trigger word to me and not being so, funny you're about so it, you're I actually wait a second. Not- so you're actually like Antifa. You actually are like the left wing. You're like Antifa. No, I'm not. I'm nothing like Antifa. No, like, you're very, I, no. Let me no. Let me you explain. Know, you're very much like you're very much like the left wing. because I know you're a right wing guy, but you're very much like the left wing because a left wing person would say, if they say my trigger words, I will fuck them up, and they scream. Well, my trigger word is retarded. Like if he called me, uh, if for him words. I was saying if he called me a fucking retard or something like that, I would that I mean, for anything else I would not get triggered. Like, but if he said my trigger word, that that's the like I will not fight anybody it, you know, and I know in the past, you know, people have said that through donations and you see how easy I Wait I freak a second. out. I thought your trigger word was n- dick. I thought your trigger word was n- no, oh, that was that's not my. You just said that on live stream, and that you should be careful like, saying that, Joe. What nipple dick? No, you just you. I, just, oh, wow. oh. So you're trying to you're trying to I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to step back, and you're trying to. Whoa, 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 face. Tommy. You went, you went quiet please there don't, for a second. Please don't say you. that again. Please don't say that again. I didn't don't. say anything. I don't know what you're talking about, Joe. Just I didn't say don't anything. say again, okay? Come on. Say what? All right, say hey, what? I'm what sorry. did I say? That well, you said the N-word on live stream? Nipple dick. I said nipple <laughs> dick. I'm trying to cover for you. <laughs> I didn't say Joe, quit trying to play this thing like I'm racist because I'm not. Okay, all right. Like, I didn't say but, but, the N word. I didn't okay, fucking all right. say the N word. Okay, no, I believe you. But um, l- here's the thing about this. Here's the thing. You have a trigger word, though. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I, yes. Everybody has. You you have you probably have a trigger word, don't you, Joe? Like I know that you pro- many people have words that trigger them. And you know it's a well, it's a point of emotion. But that but, but I don't have, have words. But I don't have a trigger word that makes me engage in violence. Like I don't have a word that if you call me something, I'm not going to decide that I'm going to bash your head in. You're saying that you have a word that will trigger you to bash somebody's head in to their face. And not well. Here's the thing. I don't. I don't. You know, the thing is, I don't challenge people to try to say that word just to see me freak out. Like, if people are just going to try to try to use that word to trigger me, I'm not going to flip out. But if they protagonize me and they try to get me to, and they get in my face, like, for instance, okay, the only way I would punch Leafy in the face, I'm going to say this, uh-huh. the only way I'd punch Leafy in the face, if Leafy got in my face and was spitting in my face, and literally calling me a piece of shit, scumbag, retard, that's when I would activate because he's stepping into my bubble. You would activate? I, I mean, do- you would activate? Tommy, you're like a, a weaponized person. You sound like a government weaponized, like MK Ultra. I'm not a weaponized person. I'm just saying, Joe, if I got, okay, well, let's say a situation, me and you are in a conversation. We're sitting at a table. And me and you were in a conversation, and I got into your face. 
wouldn't you punch me in my face if I had got got into your bubble? There is a certain limit of barrier to when people are in conversation and they start an argument and then they start getting in your face and spitting in your face. And well, I mean, spitting while talking, not just going. OK, you know, like OK, that. Well, I agree with you. If someone starts getting in your face, like in your space, like you said, and they're going like, you yeah. fucking piece of shit, motherfucker, retard, like. Um, and they're getting in my face. That's different. That's like an aggression of like you're gonna start that's a fight with what me. What I'm saying. I, I'm oh not, well, you're saying if he says here. no, you said if he says my trigger word. So that's I all well, I had to go on. Okay, and I should have said what I should have said is he would say, and if he said that, and while getting in my face, okay, saying that to me, I would punch him in the face. But otherwise, I would sit <clears> down with Lee D and have a peaceful conversation. And work things out with him. Yes, if somebody like if somebody spit in my face and called me a retard, yes, the fight would be on. But if somebody was just in a fight with me, like say I'm fighting with Dave Rose because he's in the chat now. Say I'm fighting with Dave Rose and Dave goes, Joe, you're a retard. You know, I'm not gonna be like, let's throw for her. Like, you know, what I mean, like, like let's fight now. Like, I mean, we might scream at I might scream at him. I don't think he'd really scream at me. He's not that type. He's more of a pompousy type. Um, uses logic and um whatever he can and then once that runs out he well, I don't, I don't just find that to be pompous i just find that to be somebody that you know speaks well with his words you know i don't yeah he does but see, he, but he also dave being pompous no if you don't think come on even dave would say he is sometimes but um yeah i mean he he's done that a lot he's backed up he, you know he's backed up on his words and gone in circles and you know, what I mean, when he he rarely loses an argument. Dave Rose rarely loses an argument, but when he does, it gets silly. But he's only apologized once. <laughs> well, as I know, I, I think it's once. He might have apologized twice. Um, but no, he uh, you know, he rarely loses a battle. Dave Rose is about ninety percent. I don't I don't think anybody else is ninety percent in this community. When he loses, though, when he when he does lose or when he doesn't, like, there's even been some times where he's apologized where he didn't necessarily lose the fight. He just sort of. It was sort of like a gray area, and he kind of just went, "All right, like I'll give you whatever." And he, it's like a gray area. He's pretty good, man. He's pretty pretty good at, at winning those type of things. But the fact of the matter is, I would become pretty emotional compared to him. Um, but you are, you know, what you said made me think, "Wow, you would just get triggered at a word and want to fight a guy." But yeah, so like, let's say Leafy was sitting down with you at a table, and you guys are having a conversation. He goes, "Well, Tommy, you know, I just didn't want to." Uh, Ever do a show with you just because I think you're a fucking asshole idiot? Well, because I don't think that Leafy thinks you're a retard or, or would call you a retard in public or to your face or anything like that. But I think what Leafy has said, and I'm talking about when I've been on Skype calls around Leafy, when I've what I've heard from Leafy, and then what I've heard from him on like discussions with people on Skype in the back areas of YouTube, where only like 800 people saw the video or any 100 people heard it or whatever. He would just say things like, at first he was apologized to you, but I don't think he ever 100% really is sorry because I think he, I think he kind of thinks that you're a, I think he sort of thinks that you're full of shit is what I get out of him. That he, that he is sorry that, that, that he like picked on a person with autism because that hurt his career, but that he also looked into you more and feels that you're not really that fucking vulnerable and that you kind of played it up. And so that's what he believes. So I don't, but I don't think he would call you a retard. Um, well, I'm just me. I'm just me. And I just do what I do. You know, I just, I live life to the fullest. And, you know, and clearly in that video, I never said I was autistic. I just said I wanted to inspire people. I wanted to entertain people. Mm. I was never betraying myself and then the whole entire media of youtube just threw all that autism stuff in there mm. and that's when it went off and i'm like well but tommy no that, tommy your video was a, like was about that basically wasn't it i mean didn't we kind of sort of target that um i you mean know, i mean <clears throat> i mean um when i was I mean, I guess the media did a little bit, right? Because you, when you did yeah, the... Yeah, they, when... they, they found something and they targeted with it. And then really it kind of, what kind of, as I sat back and I watched my sub count blow up, I kind of 
sat there. I was happy, but at first, and then I, one of the thoughts in my head in 2016 was, this is exciting, but at the same time, I was aggravated with myself because it wasn't my intellect. It wasn't my intellect. It was people looking at my autism and pitying my autism, and that's what aggravated me about the whole entire situation. Yeah, you could you have know, been anybody. You could have been looking like... At, looking, you could have been like like Timmy Jones. Like they just wanted to. People wanted to defend autism. They didn't care who it was. Yeah, I, I can kind of see that. Um, yo, we got on the phone. They wanted a face. They they wanted a face for autism, and they chose me. And I, it, you know, I was in the media. But the thing is that I was in the media for the wrong reason. Mm, yeah, and maybe, I always yeah. t tell people autism doesn't define me. All right. You know, it you know doesn't what? define me. You should have been in the media for that fucking for your cock is what you should have been in for. Hey, Shy God is here. Shy God, what's up, man? I, I, fuck, I've been drinking a lot. What's up? Oh, boy. It, 6.42, man? Holy shit, it ain't even close to time yet, man. Yeah, I just heard Tommy was on the line. I just wanted to call him a fake piece of shit. Oh. Tommy, can Tommy you That's your line. opinion. That's opinion. your opinion. You've Tell never actually one. sat down fake. with me. You've never Fucking actually had a conversation bastard. with me. Jesus. Oh, I'm I'm fake. I'm fake. Oh, yeah, I'm you're me. Fucking fake. You are you. You fucking okay? leafy, wanting cock-ass motherfucker. Whoa. And you're just a Joe Crony that just falls around. A Joe and Crony, oh, you gonna use off. that again, you little motherfucker? How oh. about this? How about you suck on Joe Crony's dick? Because that's the only reason why you're on this fucking call right now. If it wasn't because of Joe Crony, you wouldn't even be talking about Leafy, you fucking asshole, <laughs> acoustic fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is fucking acoustic? I, oh, you I'm said acoustic. That. Honestly, I have oh. no words for you because you are you are pathetic in my eyes. Honestly, well, you're I'm like pathetic. I have no words I'm for pathetic, you because but I'm talking I have about no time. fucking five year old fucking shit that happened five years ago with Leafy. Like, fuck, I'm fucking my words up. Jesus Christ, I'm fucking drunk. You are drunk, <laughs> Shy God. You are drunk, man. This is crazy. Uh, oh yeah. Shy I'm God really recently, drunk. recently on the Patreon, he said that uh, he wanted to see Tommy in a dunk tank. Uh, you want to be in a dunk tank, Tommy, naked with a banana uh, hammock? No. Tommy with the mask on. No, exactly. I would not want to do that. The mask, the mask on. on. Slap he has the mask. The hundred fifty. <laughs> oh, hundred fifty dollar mask on. Yeah, you can put that hundred fifty dollar mask on. It'll be great. Mm. Why do I always get blamed? I always get blamed for this cronies. Like, I mean, what the hell? I don't. I don't understand. I'm, I'm a Dave Rose motherfucking guy. What you talking about, Tommy? Are you gonna yeah. blame Dave Rose now? Huh? Is Dave Rose the fucking problem? Huh? You You're the fucking cock problem, goblin, dickhead. Fuck. You fucking cock goblin bastard. You motherfucker. You're just an How alcoholic you piece of garbage. Dave That's what you cock, are. You Whoa. fucking bastard. An alcoholic piece of garbage. Oh, piece That's of garbage. You Meanwhile, are. you threw up on fucking Crystal's pussy. You fucking <laughs> piece of shit. I did not throw you up on her. I threw up in a garbage started can, fucking, you moron. New, I started fucking New Year's fucking tape, you motherfucker. I saw it all. I remember it like it was fucking yesterday on the back of my fucking head. You you're a dumbass. Shit. You're an absolute dumbass. I'm a you're, dumbass. You're not, I'm you know, a you dumbass. just sound like Dude, who the fuck a sheep. Are you you sound like a fucking you sheep. You're just repeating shit. yourself. You're repeating yourself. You're repeating oh, yourself. Repeating That's myself. all you're doing. I'm repeating myself. But at least I ain't fucking saying fuck you, fuck you, fuck, fuck, fuck you, fuck you. Know, you. All the fucking time, you fucking dick sucking cock goblin bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah shy god's a fan of everybody man but he's not you apparently but he's here man he's been uh oh god no he's been uh he's been around a while he's been a long time shy god's been here <laughs> well you know what he is he's a dickless piece of shit that doesn't know anything from dick well, I so thought, fuck I, you shy god dick. i honestly thought you were a tommy <laughs> fan to be honest i didn't know you didn't like tommy oh no i never liked Tommy. oh yeah, no one likes you either. Well, Joe, you have a great day. I'm not going to deal with this dickhead. I hope you have a good show. All right. Well, uh, you have, you have a, a great day, too. You have a good show. I'm finna, I'm, I'm finna go off. Fuck you, shy god. Good night, Joe. Good night. <laughs> now, in, now All right, Joe. on other people's show, though, Tommy will like shy god. All right, shy god. Thank you. Have a good day, man. <laughs> See ya. You're welcome. I, I, I just woke a lot of people up in my apartment. So I can show. Oh, go fight them. All right. All right. I, I, I'll beat their ass. If they're white, just yell that, why you call me the N-word? 
Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, I mean, like, dude, you'll see the they'll run away. Like, all right. Like, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> all right, I'll see you, man. See you, shy god. Yeah, if uh, if the, if there's a white person, just be like, what did you just call me? A... Speaking of uh, speaking of that that n word, um, you know, this stuff is going down in Baton Rouge, uh, and we actually have. We have a video of some of this chaos in Baton Rouge. Is apparently two officers were shot. Fuck me up. That's the really police terrible. out there. They're trying to get to him. Yeah. The police did? Yeah, the police right there on the ground. Man, no, bro. That nigga really killed the police. I see where the police are down. This nigga tripped the city. Look at these niggas running with these shit. Look at the ground. What the NWA said to do, man. I don't know. Who pulled that? Who pulled that? All right. No, I got enough shit to. By the way, this video is uh, going viral, blowing up everywhere, courtesy of Twitter user... <laughs> courtesy of Twitter user Tommy <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Tommy Real Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, so hopefully every, that's uh, da- it's crazy news in Baton Rouge. Uh, I got an update coming on that in a minute. But uh, that's it's not funny. Um, the Twitter name is funny. That's trending everywhere. Uh, the cops being shot is not funny. God, I'm dying because, dude, earlier I made a cheeseburger, and I was eating the cheeseburger. And, um, like, I swallowed the fucking a piece of the hamburger the wrong way. And it went down the wrong windpipe. And dude, I've been coughing for like, and what is it, two hours now? I've been coughing for two hours. Dude, I was earlier like, <coughs> you can hear it. It's like fucking all fucked up. Like badly. It's crazy. It went down the wrong pipe. And then I drank something, and then I think that went down the like double wrong pipe. So we can only pray that hamburger is now in my lungs and I get pneumonia tomorrow and die. So we'll see what happens. Um, t- <laughs> at least, no. I don't even know what you can say anymore. I mean, I, I can't read the guy's name. I don't even know, but whatever. It's just fucking hilarious name. Um, but shout out to Shy God, man. Like I said, man, if it's a white guy yelling at you, and, and then just say that, be like, "Oh, you called me the N word." And if it's a if and if you're if so if you're if you're a black guy and 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 your neighbors are white and they're co- going to complain about you being loud, just scream loudly in the hallway. Like, Did you just call me a? N word, like, and yell it really loud, and they'll just like freak out, and they'll be like, you know what? Never mind. We'll see you later. Um, just we thought we we were some uh, it was it was loud out here or something, and we were trying to sleep. Uh, and it's like, yeah, that's what I thought. And if you're a black, if you're a white guy, and um, one of your one of your neighbors is gonna yell at you for something, uh, just call the cops on him, and he'll get in trouble for something. Because, you know, that's what happens. Uh, so it's great, man. It's it's a, a lot of options for you, depending on your race. And uh, <coughs> you'll be good. What else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Hello, brother. Hello, Dan. Hey, it's me. Look, I donated to myself, bro. I donated to myself, brother. Good old Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Gotta love that place. <laughs> oh, just say he's got a gun. That's a good idea. Uh, nobody Jones, that's a great point. That's a good point. You say he's got a gun. That's a good point. That's a great point. Like, I don't know. And he was in there, and he was just coming out into the hallways... Waving his gun around and then yelling crazy stuff that he'd kill everybody in the building and then runs back into his room. I don't know what's going on. I mean, like, the next thing you're going to hear is, like, 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 fucking. New York PD, open up! And this motherfucker's playing video games. Like, oh, yo, I got your ass. Oh, yo, yo, tell Sydney what the fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, someone's at my door. Hold on, someone. Oh, fucking, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is at my door? I'm on a fucking GTA, motherfucker! Open the door, police! Don't and then he opens the door like he's got his fucking shit in his hands. <laughs> and then the the white guy just opens up his door in the hallway and he's like, he looks up, he goes, <laughs> close the door. <laughs> I gotta admit, the uh, unfortunately, 
you know, the, the black guy that yells, hey, that white guy said the N-word, you know, and then the, the white people being scared and going back in their home. That's more of a defensive thing, right? Like, that's a defensive, like, the, the threat of the offense of what could happen from that is a de- defensive deterrent. So the person goes back into their home and leaves you alone and you can be as loud as you want. But for the black guy, that's a very offensive deterrent. Like, that's like you literally got him shot. So that's a very offensive deterrent. So I wish there was a – maybe there could be a more of a defensive deterrent for the other way because they're not fair. You know what I mean? Scaring the white guy into going back into his home and not complaining about your noise violation is a little different than the white guy, you know, getting you shot to death because you were being noisy and you made up a lie about it, what was going on. I suppose if they don't find a weapon that – you know, then you could maybe be in trouble. Like, they would come ask you, like, hey, you know, why we actually didn't find a, a, a gun on Jamal. Um, why did you say he had a weapon? Well, I, give, I guess it must have been his Xbox controller or his remote controller. I didn't know he was screaming so loud and saying he was going to kill everybody. I, and then I saw that. I assumed that was the weapon. And you probably would get away with that. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck is wrong with me? Um, <laughs> what up, E-Man? Bumblefuck LA? I might have done that. Shy God is loaded, dude. At 650, to be loaded like that at 650, that's wild. Anyway, speaking of fucking people. <coughs> there's Titty Face again. Titty Face once again banned from Twitch. Nobody should be banned from Twitch, as I said earlier. Nobody should be banned from Twitch, but because everybody, um, uh, because everybody got banned for all these stupid reasons, you know, they have to ban everything. Reason why you don't drag race in the Bronx? What the fuck? <clears throat> what the fuck are you showing me, Adam Cruz? What the fuck, dude? I don't even think I can show this on YouTube. What the fuck am I looking at, dude? Willie! Jesus Christ, bro. That's disturbing as fuck, brother. Showing, like, a drag race of people just dead. Like, I don't want to... What the fuck? I don't... What? Why did I have to see that? Like, I want to throw up on myself now. I'm going to puke on myself, brother. <clears throat> Dark Scavenger, what's up, man? No, originally she was going to be banned for three... She was banning herself for three days. Originally she was banning herself for three days, and then they really banned her. So they be, Because people were bullshit, dude. I'm telling you guys. Like, guy, guys have been banned for taking their shirts off for by accident. Guys. Um, you know, people have been banned for the dumbest stuff on Twitch. Twitch is way worse than YouTube. Like, as bad as YouTube is, and it's really bad. Like, it's very bad. YouTube is bad for two reasons. Because of its uh, censorship, especially to the right-wing people. The censorship to the right-wing people is crazy. Um, but it's, it's just overall censorship. But then, but then YouTube is also dangerous because it's, it's being used as a c- control device by uh, the crazy left-wing people. Um, but, but Twitter, Twitch, Twitch isn't at that level to be controlled by governments and Google and Disney and people like that. But I got to show you the new Star Wars, um, um, creator person that's going to be apparently in charge of the all female centric Star Wars. There's a clip of her that is super disturbing. Um, super disturbing. And my buddy, um... I think my buddy picked it up uh, recently. <coughs> Let me find his clip. Because he pulled the clip. I can't find this clip from her. But I would love... I, wish, I <coughs> hope that I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. Because it's a very disturbing uh, video. I know it's... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, my buddy Jeremy on the quartering, he got this uh pulled off. And uh we're gonna we're gonna play this. Really 
do cuz like you know there's like this is the new star wars the the person in charge of the, what's going to be apparently the new star wars female centric star wars i mean this this is um like why are these people always just gross too by the way i don't know like we can I couldn't agree more with everything that, mm. that these brilliant women are saying. But yes, I, I'm mm. strong. Yeah, they're brilliant women, of course. Seeing the silent killer, which is a lot of white women at the top who are kind of reinforcing a lot of old ideas. They're <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> credit to Jeremy from uh, for finding that that video. Like, just she's just a self. You know, Dave Rose talks about self hating. This is this is what he's. This is what this is really a self hater. This is a person who actually hates themselves. What the hell is this lady's name? Um, gotta find her name. Gotta find her name. <coughs> Jesus. Um, oh yeah, she created Russia. She did Russian Doll or something. I don't know who that is. Um, let me see if I can find this interview because this lady. This is gonna be. You would think that Disney would learn or that Star Wars would would learn. You know what I mean? You would think that they would be like, oh yeah, th this this did not this did not go well the last time, so like let's let's not do that again. You know, let's let's not uh let's not do that again. But then they but this is like super doubling down, isn't it? Like this is like triple doubling down. Like this this chick is whacked. Like when it comes to stuff. Just full of self hating and weird shit like here, here's some of it let's 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 see what she says here i haven't seen this one this is not the clip i was looking for but i don't know i've gotten um <laughs> you know criticism or advice or any kind of feedback that was negative like i think i my like, initial like, instinct almost like, like like i say like 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 every five seconds like always is to really consider it By the way, nothing this person has done signals Star Wars at all. Nothing that this co-creator, co-creator of Russian Doll, Leslie Headland, nothing that she has done tells me, like, yes, Star Wars. That's right. <clears throat> what is the worst advice you've ever received? Oh, no. Uh <laughs> oh, no. What's no. the worst advice I've ever received? Probably when she worked with Harvey Weinstein for a year. Gosh, the stuff that she did. That's coming to mind is all the little kind of microaggressions that I've experienced as being like in being a female writer and director. Which... So she asked her, what is the worst advice that you've ever received? And then she, so this is how the, let me explain how these people operate. They're fucking insane. What's the worst advice that you received? Well, one time a guy told me to work on this movie and it was a bad idea. You know, one time somebody told me to work with Harvey Weinstein. That was a bad idea. But no, it wasn't because it actually furthered my career. So it actually was a good idea. Um, so instead of all that, she just sidestepped that question and goes, microaggressions. What? Oh, um, I don't know. Probably all the microaggressions that happened to me. She immediately goes into victim playing right there. And into the SJW, like, fucking playbook for no reason. It's coming to mind as all the little kind of... Like, this has nothing to do with what's the bad advice you've received. Worst advice you've ever received. Let's oh. go back. Let's remember what she said. What's the worst advice you ever received? Uh, apparently, Leslie uh, doesn't... Can't comprehend the English language or a simple question. What's the worst advice you ever received? That would be like me, like if somebody was like, hey, Joe Cronin, what's the worst advice you ever received, Joe? You know, what's your worst advice? Well, I would say that probably my worst advice probably be more like, you know, all the times when I was just sort of attacked by people on YouTube and they criticized me. Though, definitely those would be more of what, you know, was kind of always came from those type of like, what? That's not the question. What are you talking about? What is the worst advice you've ever received? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. It's <laughs> <laughs> the worst advice I've ever received. Gosh, the stuff that's coming to mind is all the little kind of microaggressions that I've experienced as being like in being a female writer and director, <laughs> which is you shouldn't take up so much space or you shouldn't be so loud. I just feel like I... I 
You shouldn't take up so much space or you shouldn't be so loud. Those are microaggressions. What are you talking about? As a female director, it's been so hard when the microaggressions, being a female director of taking up space and being loud, like, oh my God, like, so evil men. Just so evil men. What? I've been told not to be loud before because I'm loud. I've been, t I've been told to clean up my messes because I'm messy. Those aren't microaggressions. What did you just say? I tend to self-edit as a woman anyway. Usually I am thinking, does my hair look okay? So, like, I tend to self-edit because I'm a woman because women have to, you know, women have to self-edit themselves. They can't just be like everybody else. We just can't be like everybody else. We have to sort of censor ourselves. We have to self be self-aware of what we're saying because what we say has an effect on us. Like, it can be really negative. Oh, you mean like every other human being anywhere ever? So as a white male who now could be perceived extra as a racist, Joe Cronin must self-edit. Guess what? I've done it. I've been like, oh, shit, if I say this, they're going to think, oh, I got to be careful. I self-edit. So feel bad for me, too. Oh, a black guy goes into a fucking place and he wants to just have a regular conversation and he's around white people and he starts thinking, oh, shit, I shouldn't say that because they're going to think this about, about whatever. Everybody does this. This is a, everybody who, okay, everybody who cares too much does this. Let me rephrase this. Some people don't do this because they don't give a fuck. Like, I, like, let's, I have a feeling Dave Rose doesn't self-edit. I have a feeling Dave Rose says whatever the fuck he wants to say, and he doesn't self-edit because he's not a fucking, a fucking crybaby, right? I sometimes do self-edit. That's the way I am. I just do. I go, you know what? Don't say that because whatever. A lot of times I don't give a fuck, and I couldn't give a fuck, but sometimes I do. But a lot of you guys do. A lot of, some of you guys don't. There's some of us that literally never self-edit whatsoever who gives a fuck. But there are some of us, and a lot of us, that do sometimes go, oh, let me say that instead, or let me not, I'll just stay out of that, or whatever. That's just fucking the, your brain working, you idiot fucking bitch. You're no, you're no fucking superhero because you self-edit. As a woman, oh my god. Like This is the mentality of the fucking delusional. Look at the look on this dumb bitch's face. I just feel like I I tend to self-edit as a woman anyway. <clears throat> Usually I am thinking, does my hair look okay? Is what I just said impolite? Yeah, uh, everybody does that, you idiot. Most people who are normal do that. Let me just tell you. Should I make my needs known a little bit louder? Yes, I this is not a woman thing. This is an every person thing. I don't think you understand. And the people that usually don't do this whatsoever are usually dickheads. You know what I mean? People that don't do this whatsoever at all are usually dickheads. Just so you know. It's not just you being a woman. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, fucking dog face. It ain't just you. I did get a lot of feedback when I was younger that I should be quieter and smaller. <laughs> and a little bit more well-behaved. And I'm kind of... Uh, everybody did when they were younger. Because uh, kids are constantly be told to behave and be quiet. Oh my god, being a kid, being told, being quiet. Oh my god, I got told to be quiet when I was a kid. Be quiet, you need to be calmer, you need to be quieter. Uh -huh. Yes, that's what everybody says to kids, you fucking blimp. Oh my god, these people are retarded. Glad that I didn't end up taking that advice. And now as I've gotten <clears throat> older and I have more experience, I realize, oh, no one's actually paying that much attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, you don't want to be rude to people or you don't want to come off in a particular way that you don't mean. So I try to say what I mean as often as I can. But but no I no shit. You try to say what you mean as often as you can. You try to say what you mean as often as you can. Wow. There is a fucking concept. You actually try to say what you mean as much as you can. Well, you know what? You are so good because I'll tell you what. Nobody else tries to say what they mean. Most of the time.
You you are I my hats off to you, lady. That's amazing. I don't feel that same kind of pressure to self-edit or to appear as someone I'm not. A lot of people will say, oh, I got that advice, and I said, to hell with them. <laughs> but that's no, not really how you felt. It. No, I really, every time I've gotten, um, uh, you know, criticism or advice or any kind of feedback that was negative, like, I think I, my, my initial instinct almost always is to really consider it. Even if I look like I'm not considering it, even if I'm having an air playing of being cool. very confident and playing it cool. You know, in my I can agree with that. That's the one thing she said so far that I can agree with. That's the one human thing I can actually finally agree with. That, yes, when someone criticizes you, you know, I don't really make a big deal out of it, but I do think about it and wh whatever. Well, I'm criticizing you right now. You will be a better human being. You will be a better director. You will be a better person once you drop this SJW trigger word facade of make-believe that you have. Drop the neediness. Drop the facade. Drop the crybaby stuff. And realize that you're really no different than everybody else. And that almost everybody else is normal. And that everybody doesn't have these weird microaggressions going on. And this is a word that's almost basically made up. There's only two things. Aggressions and no aggressions. There are no microaggressions. <clears throat> and you'll be better. My 20s, I would kind of very much take it personally and really take it to heart and think oh, there's something wrong with the way that I am naturally. Yeah, what everybody in their 20s and their teens usually do that. What my identity is and who I am now in my <laughs> career. I worked really hard to get here, so I don't really need to like ever tear myself down to build myself up back up again. That being said, I do think that criticism and feedback usually are um, helpful things to hear, even if you disagree with them. So what would you say to your 20-year-old self? Oh, I to 20-year-old Leslie, oh. I'd say calm down. <laughs> You have plenty of time. I would say when people try to edit who you are, just decide whether or not that's something you agree with before you start implementing it. I can agree with that. That part I can agree with. 70% of this video was preposterous and delusional thinking. <clears throat> delusional thinking at its finest. I think what she said at the end was fine, but everything else, out of control. This person is, there is some kind of mental illness going on in this world right now, especially this country, and especially in Hollywood. I, I don't know what it is, man, but there is some kind of mental illness going on with this woman and this lady. And she's, she's in charge of your next Star Wars TV series coming to Disney. The female-centric one that will most certainly be loaded with like powerful women stuff and you know look out men and uh rumor has it could even be um an alternate timeline type of thing i mean good god does it does it get any worse than it is right now <clears throat> i don't think so that was disturbing to say the least anyway folks we talked about all I had to talk about at this point. I am going to be going live for Sunday Night Gaming in the next hour or two on Joe Cronin Show. So uh, come on over to Joe Cronin Show if you want to hang out for Sunday Night Gaming and Warzone and all that stuff. Somebody in the chat just said, oh my god, die, the Leah clip. That basically is the clip that I would use to describe her afterwards. Oh my god, die. I, I You know, to be honest... Leah's response to that lady probably would be, oh my god, die. Oh my god, die. Let me hit up Leah real quick. Oh, Har Harry Steve! My name is Kane and I'm donating the house! When Scott said, they took us down for a week, brother. They took Drama Club down for a week, brother. <laughs> They are killing me, brother. Brother, 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 brother. <laughs> Scott fucking killed me when he turned into the Hulkster. Oh my god, that was hilarious. Uh, Harry Steve, thank you. He was, he goes, Brother, they're taking me down, brother! Brother, they're taking me down, brother! Like, oh my god, dude. I mean, make no mistake about it, he can be a dangerous bastard sometimes. And not a good person at times. Uh, but, 
um, you know, that shit is what he's funny for. I mean, when he, it, that, that's the type of stuff that people, like, that we enjoy from him. Although it was kind of sad and disturbing at the same time because he was ang- very angry at Mar- They took me down, brother! What you fucking people been doing, hive motherfuckers? I got way more proof. And more is coming. I'm gonna fucking end all of you. Proof of what? I like when he said he was gonna kill Marvin too. I'm gonna k- fucking kill you, Marvin. <laughs> Fuck you, proof man. Of what? You fucking oh, wanna fuck with me? Proof of what? I can't afford rent, and you wanna fucking take money from me? Oh, well, fuck my yourself, Scott. You All I did was enter your email and password to your YouTube and back the fuck out because I did not want to verify the fucking <laughs> phone number. You stupid dipshit! What is you going on? The fucking password. What is happening in here? I, I'm gonna is, fucking kill uh, you, Marvin. I'm being exposed. Like, <laughs> well, wait a minute. He's gonna kill you. What the ever said fucking in my life. done? I got all the screenshots, Marvin. Everything that you and the I've been doing to Joe Cronin for six years. Going to me, go to this community. The you Hive died like the fucking pot. six years ago, Scott. Stir the pot. You Fuck fucking off think with you your got stupid control? Bullshit. You don't got control, nigger. Oh my I god. I work my Jesus. ass off and oh. get on YouTube and bullshit. I'm gonna end Fuck you. Off, dude. Um, so, wait a minute. Marvin was just talking shit about Shell, Joe, <laughs> before we got on the call. Marvin was talking shit about Shell, but as soon as he was on air, he couldn't talk shit no more. Hey, I'll tell fuck. you what I said about Shell. Wait a minute. I'll tell you what I said about Go Shell. Go ahead, Marvin! Go the ahead! My before I lose my voice! I felt that she was trying to change it so she would end up winning the Monetize This Championship. That's about it. I thought that she was just trying to be a cloud whore at that moment. You wanna take my second income away from me? You wanna fucking strike? You wanna take my fucking money? You know what I did with Junebug the other day for Joe Cronin? I give up my fucking soul, my money! My fucking soul! Joe for everybody! <laughs> you know, shit on me, man! You're breaking well, because me! because you shit on him every two fucking weeks. Wow. You're fucking tear me apart! Fuck off, you dipshit. Jesus, what is going on? What like, are you killing me? What's it, what hap- what is, what is exactly happening with the start? I over? fucking told Junebug to uh, save his money. And, he was gonna give me, me money, and, and I need it. I'm done. I can't fucking get a poor rent. I told Junebug like to take it and give douche. it to Joe, and that's what he did. He gave it to Joe last night. I never know where that two hundred. Give it to Joe because I told Junebug to give it to Joe. I care more about Joe than my own fucking life. You're killing me! It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. 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 Why did this fight start between you and Marvin, though, here? Rodriguez and Marvin and all of them. I got all the screenshots. Uh, they try to hack into Joe. me and Dave Patreon. Drama Club Patreon. I got IP addresses. <laughs> we got it all, Joe. They hacked us. Joe, they took us when, fucking uh, down, brother. When, they wait, took my God second was, income. Wait, what did they take down? Took down Drama Nothing. Club for a week, brother. Oh, the oh, fucking oh, crying, oh, the, Joe. They're telling me, brother. The YouTube no, channel? he's crying me. because this shit happened like fucking months ago. When it happened like fucking months ago. Because this shit. Oh, he's crying me. because. Oh, channel? He's oh, they're telling me, brother. The YouTube no. channel? They're telling me, brother. The YouTube channel? The YouTube channel? They're telling me, brother. The YouTube no, channel? He's crying oh, me because for two days. I told you. Fucking for months six straight. years. He did not change his drama club password, and he said it for Man Davy Mars and Wild. Oh, but wait. so me, I thought, I said, I thought to go Tiffany in there was good. And I thought delete the channel, and oh. then asked me for the verify the fucking number, and I backed the fuck out, and now he's all a bunch. He thinks that I'm but trying you to take down everything. About you would have, you would have, you would have deleted his channel though. Oh man, Dave. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, nobody should be doing that. I but... understand that I said with Shell. I understand that we, uh, what we said, what he is, and now that I know, I'm getting trapped with my landlord. I thought Tiffany was a good person. This is not my landlord. Oh no! Put him on the air with me. All right, guys. I'll see you tonight on Sunday Night Gaming in the next hour to two hours. I'll see you there for that on the Joe Cronin Show YouTube channel, Warzone, in just an hour or so. See you then.
Yourself, Scott. You All I did. What is happening in here? I fucking ask for it. For six years. Oh, oh, me, go to me, go to the You died like fucking box. six years ago, Scott. Earth but it's just talking shit about Shell. I felt that she was trying to. For me, you had a fucking strike. I take my fucking money. You know what I did with Junebug the other day for Joe Cronin? I give up my fucking soul, my money. Oh, fucking soul. Showing for everybody. Yo, shit on me, man. You're breaking well, me. because you shit on him every two. Showing for everybody. Passport, and he gave it my fucking up. Damn, brother. Wait, they wait, took my fucking head was, up. Wait, Joe, they took us when, fucking uh, down, brother. They hacked us. Joe, they fouled, Joe. They hacked us. Joe, they took us when, fucking uh, down, brother. When, I hope you guys did not miss Corrupted Podcast last night on Patreon. Tommy was in rare form, and Leah had an orgasm. I'll see you, I'll see you tonight. See you in a couple hours. Goodbye.